Do you value our beautiful environment, our beaches, parks and leafy green streets? How much consideration for our environment do you have when you take out your rubbish and recycling? Because just that little more thought and effort can protect our beautiful environment for ourselves and future generations. Each time you place the correct waste in the correct bins, you're helping to ensure that items which can be recycled don't unnecessarily end up in landfill, buried under the ground and unable to be used again. You're also helping keep our beaches and streets litter free. Producing new products from recycled materials is so much more efficient. It saves energy, water, trees and natural habitats, keeping Waverley looking beautiful. Take some time to dwell on these facts. Producing one aluminium can from raw materials requires the same amount of energy as producing 20 cans from recycled materials. Manufacturing only 26 sheets of paper from scratch produces the same amount of greenhouse gas as driving a car one kilometre. Less trees and homes for wildlife and more pollution. Much of the plastic that is not recycled ends up in our ocean, often as part of floating garbage patches. The largest of these covers an area of millions of square kilometres wide. Not littering and a proper understanding and usage of the colour-coded bin system is all that is needed to ensure the maximum amount of waste is recycled and doesn't damage what we treasure. Putting the right thing in the right bin is easy. Just remember, yellow is for container recyclables, blue is for paper and cardboard recyclables, green for garden organics and red for household rubbish. The yellow bins love glass bottles and jars, plastic containers and bottles, aluminium and steel cans and empty aerosol cans. And try to remember to leave the lids of the same material type on the bottle loosely, otherwise they're often lost in the recycling process. The yellow bin is not such a fan of plastic bags, plastic wrap or any other household waste and food scraps. The blue bin wants your newspapers, magazines, cardboard boxes and milk and juice cartons. Just like the yellow bin, it doesn't want your household waste, food scraps or plastic bags. When your yellow and blue bin are collected, they're taken to a material recovery facility, MRF. The MRF is a sorting facility where contaminants are removed by manual workers. Aluminium items separated with an eddy current. Optical sorting machines deal with the different plastics. Paper is sorted using giant air blowers and steel is removed from the stream by large magnets. The end result is that all the materials are separated into their groups, compressed into large bales and taken for further processing. After further processing, your recycled materials end up as some pretty cool products. Plastic bottles, for example, can be made into fleecy jackets, beanies and new plastic containers. Aluminium cans can be made into parts for aircraft, cookware, gutters, wire and cans. That's just to name a few. Let's all take that extra moment to think about what we do with our rubbish and recycling. It really is easy. With a bit of effort, we can all help keep Waverley beautiful.